Okay, so we're on to amplifier B now, and this is the amplifier that's just to the south of the main home base, down here. That was our amplifier A, this is B, and your C will be this one. So if you want to go straight to the trap tunnels, just go to the time on the screen now. But I just wanted to talk about the amplifiers because they affect the spawns a little bit first. So when you place this amplifier C on your fourth storm shield, this will cut off this spawn, whereas when you do your third one, this amplifier can have a spawn right down there just behind it and most of them will come up here which you'll just want to like cut off the right hand side maybe put some launchers to knock them off uh, very few of them will try to go up that way so you don't have to worry too much about that and then when this is the other spawn down here but once you place this amplifier down here if I can just show you here it is once you place this this spawns gonna go but you won't place this until Storm Shield Defense 6, I think it will be. So you're going to need to defend this for two two waves, or two Storm Shields rather. So you're definitely going to want to build some trap tunnels. But with the new system, you can just break them and get most of your materials back. So it's definitely worth building trap tunnels to be safe. So now that we know where they're going to spawn, we can get into the actual trap tunnels themselves. So... I've already built them here just because they're quite small trap tunnels, but basically they spawn down there and a few could come up this bit here. There's like a side ramp here, which you just want to block off there, block off that bit there like I have done. And that will mean that all of the husks will come through our trap tunnels in the middle here. Uh, <laughs> so you can see there's a lava bomb there and everything will spawn in this area here. So basically what we've done is put walls around the edge and put broadside cannons on them and made sure that each time we have one like here there's one opposite so that when they fire they'll ping back and forwards we can't build any roofs here because of that lava bomb it destroys all of it but all of these walls that we have will stay up so that's good so basically you just have a one wall there and a two wall there one two and then one 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 ceilings over the edges you probably don't need those ceilings to be honest because not much will spawn there uh, you definitely want this one here and then a floor trap here just to get some extra damage in but then as you come up this little two wide ramp you want to block off that side leave this bit open and then build around it and over it and then put these traps down then what we do is we just do a cheeky snake trap tunnel here really just keep going left and right left and right until we get to this ramp at which point again we block the right hand side if you're looking down they come up this side Bring them back towards the center of the amplifier and this is where the trap tunnel ends now for the traps themselves every time you have two walls looking at each other like this you put broadside traps on it if you come around a corner like this you're going to want a wall dynamo everything's got ceiling trap uh ceiling gas trap on it because that is the best ceiling trap so far and then on the floor you just want to alternate these or at least that's what I do. I alternate damage and slowing. You might want to put all wooden floor spikes down. That's that's fine. Or you might want to put all retractable floor spikes. That's up to you. You can definitely just decide that for yourself if you want. And then when you're actually doing it, you'll put your base somewhere down there if you're using Constructor, which I strongly recommend. And you'll just stand here with your Super Shredder or whatever gun you want and the occasional smasher that might make it all the way through we'll just have to have a couple of pops on him and then he'll be dead everything else will die <laughs> nothing's going to make it through these trap tunnels um that's the beauty of trap tunnels and the beauty of these ones so yeah that's basically it for this one this is just a very short one i know and remember that once you've put down the amplifier over there you want to tear this down but I will remind you of that when I get onto that video, so don't worry about that. So yeah, if you did enjoy and found it useful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so that you can get the rest of my trap tunnel videos for Amplifier C and onwards. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about it, for sure, and I will see you in the next one.